Brent is one of the areas which has a large black community and they are very, very skeptical in relation to the uptake in the vaccine. It's a very, very uh, low percentage, uh, one of the lowest percentages in relation to the country as a whole. And I can understand the frustration and I can understand the reason why uh, they are uh, so reticent. It's because of the fact that, uh, historically speaking, the way in which people were treated in so far as vaccines are concerned, especially in the United States, uh, they had a little or no respect in relation to uh, black people's health and the effects that vaccines had on them uh, by simply using black people as guinea pigs uh, for their so-called experiments. They couldn't understand how it took such a short space of time relatively to actually develop. Over time, I was one in relation to the various clinical trials which were conducted in relation to the two leading vaccines in this country. And it eventually persuaded me that its effectiveness uh, was uh, not only for my uh, betterment, but I think for the betterment of the whole uh, of our community. I was flagged up on track and chase, right? And I had to isolate for 10 days because someone came to the food bank who had came positive. Now, track and chase is I've got to isolate. So for 10 days, not only did I have to isolate, but so did Hazel on Mutual Aid, because I'm the boss. So. Your impact of not taking the vaccine, not looking after yourself, impacted on everybody I help. And we've got to see that impact. That by not taking the vaccine, yes, that's your personal choice. But how does that impact on your community? Because I have four friends that I grew up with. Right? We hang out at all of, we went clubbing, we played cricket, we played football. Those four people passed away. And because of the restrictions, I wasn't allowed to go and say goodbye to them. Yeah. I wasn't allowed to go like we normally have that re rejoice of their life service afterwards with the music and the food. And when those four people passed away, it hurt. And the COVID uh, pandemic has affected me personally uh, in terms of uh, you know me losing uh, a, a friend close to me I've known for a very, very long time who, you know, I never expected uh, to lose so quickly. Dean, what was the word on the street? You well, were... well, what I tried to explain to them, especially the people in my age group, that when we were at school, how many vaccines did we take? We had measles, we had... Uh, Polio. I mean, when yeah. I went to school, we had three vaccines we had to take. Mm -hmm. And if, we, if our parents didn't sign off that we would take the measles and all the others, that we would be excluded from school. Mm -hmm. So vaccines are not nothing new. Yes, this vaccine took, came a bit quick, but the need was there. So I still want to go out with my boys and have jerk chicken and rice, and I still want to go out and have a few rare nephews and have a chat. But I'm in a group, in a area with 30, 40 other people, and it is worrying because obviously we know, right, the vaccine should protect us, but when you're mixing with a big group of people that you have no relationship with, how sure are you that you are still safe? We are a social culture. We are a group of people who want to hang out with each other. My advice, uh, without being preaching, without actually forcing uh, uh, my views upon anybody, because everybody has their right uh, to make their own particular choice. But if you were to ask me, I would say, uh, uh, by and large, it's a good thing to actually take the vaccine because it is effective. And you've seen uh, since uh, the rise of people actually being jabbed, the death rate uh, of, uh, due to COVID-19 has fallen dramatically.